What fruit will a crooked technology tree have? Soviet technology was always magical. Many originals can shine. Radiated, the same circuit as the alien spacecraft depicted in the movie. In fact, the Soviet Union has been trying to explore the universe, and other civilizations have even built huge radio telescopes. In the same period, Europe and the United States used silicon-based originals. It functions the same. It's smaller, whereas the Soviet original requires noble gases, vacuum and cosmic rays, as the so-called harmony between man and nature. Of course, the most well-known Soviet component is the glow tube clock. What would it look like to make a clock using a Soviet technology tree? Let me challenge you. I remember I had a collection of Soviet computer books. Hey, this is it. There were a lot of weird vacuum tube devices. Rows of flashing lights on Soviet equipment. It's actually a logic unit circuit. And they describe these as cold cathode ion tubes. This is the most commonly used cold cathode thyristor in the Soviet Union. It's filled with milk, gas, and hydrogen and nitrogen. After the aeration conducts, the gas is ionized, shine a dazzling light. These tubes form a loop counter. Count the clock. This is its equivalent circuit. The pulse signal is decomposed step by step. It formed a clock. Understand the fundamentals. So we're about to start production. First I have to process a shell. Use a laser engraving machine to engrave the wooden frame of the electron tube. The next step is to rub the glow tube by hand. We can customize our own return light tube for this laser engraving machine. I encapsulated it on my friend's device. He is a god who rubs glow tubes with his hands. Those who like the glow tube can follow him. This own glow tube is completed. And you take these ion tubes and you make a logic gate. Things that can be solved with one chip. Another tech tree requires a pile of glass tubes. And here's the interesting thing. These ion tubes cannot function without radiation. Perhaps the Soviet Union felt that a nuclear war was imminent. All silicon-based weapons in Europe and the United States have failed. The Soviet Union's weapons became more and more energetic. And then the design controls. PCB production is completed. Install the button shaft. Engrave the button function letters. These buttons are just the hours, minutes, and seconds. There's a big problem here. That is, the half-life of Radon in the tube is 12.3 years. These pipes are from the 1960s. It's long overdue. Only human intervention is possible. I dismantled the radioactive source of a smoke sensor. Inside is radium-241. No harm. It is precisely used as a radiation source. Connect the transformer. A Soviet-style clock without transistors or integrated circuits is complete. Sometimes I wonder, this kind of technology tree that works by cosmic rays and gases, it's going to grow. Maybe interstellar travel. We use gaslight technology. We can intuitively see the working state of each byte of the logic circuit. Standing today and looking back, the Soviet Union's electronic tube technology is like a technology tree in parallel time and space. Perhaps in some parallel universe, Soviet scientists were actually exposed to vacuum tube technology from alien civilizations. And on this basis, a completely different electronic technology system was developed. But in our real world, this technical route ultimately proved to be a brilliant divergence.